Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's show. We got our good friend Dan Kinsey. Hey Dan. Hey Larry, how are you? Well, I'll tell you what, you know, you today uh, have a lot of different brands that you represent, but today we are definitely representing Magic Products. And we are gonna go out and do some catfishing. And you guys have got a wide variety of catfish baits, from shad to shiners, to carp baits, to every kind of stink bait you can yep, imagine, absolutely. to tubes. I mean, you guys are catfish crazy. There's lots of places like today, we're in Amro here, and there's great places that you can fish right off the shoreline. You know, that's the great part, yep. Dan, really, when you start thinking about catfish, you start thinking about carp fishing, you don't really need a boat, even yep. though today we are fishing out of the V208 Warrior, um, but we are gonna be jumping from spot to spot this time of year, I think, uh, you know, when it comes to fish and channel cats, the key, I think, is having a variety of baits. Mm -hmm. And obviously, stink bait is a, a really good first off bait. To, you know, I'm gonna have at least two rods set up with that because, you know, you wanna get that smell in the water. And I'm gonna stay above the holes, so we're gonna be fishing. Like this river here, the Fox River, is more of a, it's a shallower body of water. We're gonna stay above these holes and try to suck these channel cats to come out of the holes and come up onto the flats right there. Everything's gonna be going downstream to them. They're gonna smell that stink bait and come swimming right up to us. Hey everybody, hang on to your heinies. We're basically gonna anchor up uh, right above the holes. Not very far either because obviously we're fishing in the daytime here. Um, so we've got a hole right in front of us. That current goes right into that bank right there and it's all gouged out. I'm gonna use the spot lock. You know, the great part too is that we're running Dakota lithium batteries. So as far as using that spot lock, when this current, not even a thought of lasting all day long. Start off with, like I said, I'm gonna use a variety of different types of baits here. And this is the catfish dip. And I'll tell you one thing I've learned a long time ago when it comes to catfishing and it comes to stink bait is you definitely wanna carry your tubble towels. You gotta think about this, our water temperature is 73, which isn't really high. Um, it's been a very cool summer for the most part, but this, this dip bait will not stay on there very long. So I give it about 10 to 15 minutes out there and that's it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm dropping it in there, as you guys can see. I take my spoon, I'll let it sit in there a little bit. And there we go, just kinda let it down like that, get it out there. Not gonna cast it real far or real hard, letting it hit the bottom right there. And uh, basically I'm gonna rod hold everything. So I'm gonna put, put my rods in the rod holders and it all depends on the wind as far as what kind of angle I want everything at. So there's not a lot of wind in this spot. Now here's the rig that I'm using, pretty basic. I'm using of course Meg custom rods, you know, for fish and channel, I don't need any real heavy duty rods. This is a, a medium action, uh, this is a 6.8. Basically what I'm using is a tube. Uh, there's several different types of tubes. This one's got obviously a treble hook on it and uh, it's got about 30 pound test line on there, just typical mono. So what I'm using is a slide sinker. And what I like with the slide sinker basically is that the fish obviously once that bait's laying on bottom and they start moving, they're not gonna feel anything. I always put a bead right here because what, otherwise what's gonna happen when it comes down to the snap it could wrap around the snap. You don't want to cause any friction either on the line. So the bead works out really well too. So here, you know, every spot that we fish, the current might be a little bit different. And I like, I don't want my sinker to actually to stick to the bottom real heavy. I want it where it just lays in there real light. I want to try to get everything as, as, as light as I can get. So if I need to go to another spot and I'm on a bend and there's more current real quickly, all I have to do is basically just unclip the sinker, go to something heavier, go to something lighter, you know, just adjust easy. You know, it's just one of them kind of things that doesn't matter if you're fishing off the shore or fishing in a boat. Uh, it's just a great rig. I mean, it's been very productive. You know, and as you really get into, if you're just a beginner and you get into catfishing, catfish move a lot. So, I mean, and you can catch them in the daytime, you can catch them at night. So whenever the time frame is that you have time to fish them, it's, it's a good time frame. Catfish are here year round. That's the great part about them. One thing I, I, do, I can tell you a little bit of a trick and I didn't bring any today. Dip bait starts getting a little bit runny. And again, a lot of it's got to do with how warm it is and where you have it. You can always bring a little bit of flour and put it in there and that'll actually thicken it up. Sheephead, I think. 
cat. Got a cat. Got the small ones going. Just can't get the big ones yet. That's okay. So what I'm going to do now, and I think that's a great idea too, because they're not going to feel that sponge as much either when they're a little bit more sensitive, and it is going to hold that that dip bait, that smell on there a lot longer. Definitely tons of fish up this way. A lot of smaller ones, but. Hey, I'll tell you what, just a little different. I don't have a tube on here. I have a circle hook on here. Basically the same thing, um, slider sinker with the bead on it, swivel. And I've got a 14 pound test on this one. I use a fuller carbon. Yeah, this is the dough bait. The premium is, it's, uh, it's got our ultra bite, which is our secret scent that we use on these. It's uh, made of a variety of things. One of the major things that it's made of is the same stuff that they, uh, they uh, use for uh, feeding fish in ponds. Now, some of the things about Magic, all these here, they're all made in uh, Amherst, Wisconsin. So, it's, Where uh, is Amherst, Wisconsin? Amherst <laughs> is... Uh, I know where it's at. Let's <laughs> tell everybody. Amherst is between uh, okay. Appleton and Stevens Point, but okay. it's closer to... It's about 20 miles from Stevens Point and about 40 miles from Appleton. Everything is made there, so everything's American-made, and uh, a great group of folks that run our factory over there and a great group of workers that obviously produce all these different types of baits that we do there. This is the proper way to hold a cat. There's a lot of misconception about catfish. I don't know, you know, I'm going to go through it with you guys. This is actually are not stingers right here. These are feelers. That's how they can smell everything right there. That's how they pick up the scent of everything. The smaller the catfish, just like anything else, the sharper the barbs are. These are the stingers right here. And these are like rakers right here. And when you go to throw them back, that's usually when they end up cutting you. So the best way to do it instead of throwing them is just kind of open your hand up, drop them down. Built for fishermen, built by fishermen. Um, really, that says it all. It's the family here. It's, it's not a big, big conglomerate. It's a family. They treat you, you feel like you're in a family, you know. When you put those two together, an amazing product and amazing people, it's just the type of company you want to be involved with. Not only because of just the great boats, but because of the camaraderie that the Warrior family has. The customer service is amazing. Uh, they never leave you hanging. So come join the Warrior family. Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to tie up a catfish rig. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a snap swivel, and this is going to be for my sinker. Okay, here's my snap swivel, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on first, first thing I put on. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bead on, so that's going to slide into that so it's not going to hit my other swivel. Put that on there, okay, so I got that on there, and now my swivel itself. Clinch her down. So what I'm going to do now is I, I don't use a real long leader. I want that bait to sit tight to bottom. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it there. I'm going to come back around. Like I said, I, I've got either 12 or 14 pound test on this rod. And I'm going to tie this one up with a circle hook. I'm going to grab my sinker. I'm going to use a one ounce on this rig right here. So basically what I'm going to use here is a one knot on this one. This time I'm going to tie a palomar knot. Basically go through, go through once, go through twice. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie it into a knot. So I got that, both ends. Go through the center, pull it down. She's all ready to go. See how tight I keep it? You don't want more than a 10 inch leader for that. I want to keep that bait tight to bottom. Keep them in the water, buddy. Keep them in the water. Nice job. Woo! All right, man. That's what we're after. Good job, Dan. All that's right. a perfect size eating cat right there. You know, that one's right in that three, three and a half pounds. Boy, he had that that stink bait just absolutely choke, oh, buddy. Wow. wow, nice job. That's a perfect channel cat right there. That's what we're after right there. Hey, I'll tell you what, everybody, what a pretty cool day. You know, some people might not think it, but you know, because we didn't catch a lot of big fish, but we caught a ton of fish, had a lot of fun, and really that's what fishing's all about. What we're really trying to show you guys today on this portion of our show is basically the proper ways to fish catfish. And again, I can't say it enough, there's so many places that you can fish catfish off of shore, you don't have to have a boat, but if you do have a boat, that's fine too. 
but it's a great thing to fish because you can fish them basically ice off till ice on and they are absolutely excellent eating if you prepare them right. Hey Dan, you know, I'll tell you something. Speaking of preparing things, we're gonna have you in the next couple days come into the office, you and Rick, and we're gonna start going over some canning products. You know, between Nesco and Chard, you know, you guys have so many great products and canning has always been a very popular thing. I'm talking about like canning pickles, canning, you know, vegetables. People are really starting to revert back to them, things like, like my grandmother and my mother used to do. So let's talk a little bit sure. about that. Yeah, we have what's called uh, the Smart Canner. It's made by NASCO. It's very, very simple. You can do water bath or high pressure canning. And it's really all programmable. It, it's a it's combination canner slash pressure cooker. So you can do all the things you would with a pressure cooker, but it has these additional functions of actually allowing you to do canning. Hey everybody, we appreciate you guys watching our show this week, and no doubt we want to give special thanks to all of our military men and women for the great service that they have given and continue to give this country, all of our law enforcement agents, firefighters, and paramedics for the great service that they also give us. And remember, we are still living in the greatest country in the world, and no doubt it is a great day to be alive, and we'll see you guys again next week, and thanks for joining us. All right, Greg, pick a card, any card. I won't look. Put it on your back. You got it? Yeah. Okay, I'm guessing your card is uh, three of spades. No? Oh, man. Oh, so my magic didn't work. No, you're not very good at this, brother. Oh, I, I, well, I, I bet you this magic would work. <laughs> hey, we're giving away some magic products this week. Huge congrats to Black Warrior Lures. Make sure you uh, send us an email at LarrySmithOutdoors at gmail.com. We'll get this stuff sent out to you. And uh, make sure the rest of you guys are subscribing to the channel for your chance to win next week. And uh, I guess that's all I got to say. I'll see you later. <laughs> Yo, where do you go?